climate change will have significant impacts on economies, the stability of global financial markets, and the companies that operate within them. There is a global scientific consensus on the risks and the severity of climate change. Climate change is real. It is global. The consequences are severe and intensifying, and humans are the driving force of this impending crisis. Central banks, investors, lenders, and insurance underwriters are calling the climate crisis a systemic risk to our financial system. No business, regardless of the sector, is immune, and companies that fail to address the climate crisis and the business risk it creates do so at their own peril. For business leaders, a new duty of care is emerging. Corporate directors must be proactive in understanding the science behind the climate crisis and possible future climate scenarios to fully grasp the implications for society and the business that they lead and govern. Climate change is a complex challenge with significant business risks. To manage these risks, corporate directors must consider intersecting scientific, macroeconomic, and policy-related uncertainty over timeframes much longer than conventional strategic planning cycles. Let's start with what we know about climate science. Human activities, including the burning of fossil fuels, deforestation, and land use change, release carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide, methane, and other greenhouse gases. Over the last century, the concentration of these greenhouse gases in the atmosphere has steadily increased, reaching levels significantly higher than anything on record in the last 800,000 years. Of all the carbon dioxide emitted since the beginning of the Industrial Revolution in the 18th century, more than half has been released since 1988, the same year the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change began its work. As greenhouse gases accumulate in the atmosphere, they trap heat. This is causing a long-term increase in global average temperatures, a phenomenon called global warming. Earth systems regulate the climate through carbon sinks that absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. The most critical carbon sinks are oceans, soil, and plant life. Oceans are the largest carbon sink on the planet. They currently absorb 30% of the carbon we emit and 90% of excess heat generated by increased greenhouse gas emissions. But oceans cannot continue to absorb heat and carbon emissions without consequences. As oceans absorb carbon dioxide, the acidity of the water increases. Ocean acidification poses a serious threat to ocean coral and other sea life. Vast amounts of carbon dioxide and methane are also stored in frozen deposits in the ocean floor called gas hydrates. The gases in these hydrates are precariously close to being released because of rising ocean temperatures. If so, instead of acting as a carbon sink, oceans will become carbon emitters with grave consequences for climate change. Forests and soil are also carbon sinks, storing one quarter of global carbon emissions. But deforestation is rampant. Globally, we are losing an area of tree cover equivalent to the size of the United Kingdom every year. By damaging these vital carbon sinks, we are eroding the very foundations of our economies, livelihoods, food security, health, and quality of life. While there might be potential to develop artificial carbon sinks, including carbon capture and storage, no technology can match the scale and efficiency of the Earth's natural systems. Greenhouse gas emissions from human activities are changing the climate so quickly that ecosystems and human society are struggling to adapt. The changing climate is already impacting people worldwide. Climate impacts disproportionately threaten Black, Indigenous, and people of color communities and countries in the Global South, even though they have historically contributed the least to the climate crisis. The climate risks for businesses and society will continue to worsen unless we transition rapidly to a low-carbon economy.